Hello friends, today I'll show you how to draw a graph on canvas. But even before that, let's take a look at how to draw a rectangle on a canvas. I have a canvas here. I'll call a function on load. Let's say my function name is draw. All right, let's define a function here. So I'll get my canvas document, sorry, document dot get element by ID, my canvas. All right, the second thing we're going to need is the context. Context is nothing but the paintbrush which will allow you to render anything on screen. So let's declare the context. So we need the paintbrush for this canvas, All right? So that's why I've written it here. Canvas.get context. We are dealing with 2D images. Okay, so in we will order the context to draw a rectangle. So to draw a rectangle, we have inbuilt method called fillRect, which accepts four parameters. That is x coordinate, y coordinate, width of the rectangle, and height of the rectangle. Okay, so let's say the x coordinate will be zero y coordinate will be 0 since it our screen coordinates it starts from here 0 0 and it will go like this okay let's say width is equals to hundred height is equals to hundred and yeah, we are good to go. So this is our rectangle. Okay. So we can also give some color to our rectangle. Maybe I want it red. All right. And you can even specify the hexa code and whatever you want. Okay, so this is our rectangle. All right, now let's quickly walk through the code. So here I'm ac accepting some values separated by a comma and I'm calling a draw function on click of the button submit. Okay, so here is my draw function here. So whatever values I have accepted, I'm just splitting it and storing it in some array. So my array name is graph values. All right. So as usual, we took the canvas, we got the context. All right. So this is the width of our rectangle. So in this case, it's the width of our bar. And this X is the position of our first bar so the idea is we're gonna draw our first bar on 50th x coordinate and then we're gonna move that x coordinate to 50 plus some gap whatever you want 10 15 20 all right and we are specifying some color to our bars all right so when we have to draw one rectangle, what we did is we just call a fill rect function and we just pass four values, x coordinate, y coordinate, width and height. But now we, in order to draw a graph, we need more than one rectangle. So for that purpose, we need a for loop. All right, so this is my for loop. It's starting from zero until 
the values I have in the graph array. All right. So I'm getting all the values in a variable called edge, like one by one. And then I'm passing it to the fill rec function, x, that is 50. As I told you, our first bar will start on at 50th, then height. So why I'm doing this is to equalize all the bars. Then second is the width of our rectangle and third is the height of our rectangle. So again, rectangle means bar. Now in this second step, what we are doing is we are just adding some more pixels to our X coordinate that is in order to move our bar from one position to next. All right, so I'll just give you a quick example. Let's say in this text box, we entered something like this. All right, so you don't have to give this curly braces. I've just given it for your understanding. All right, so my data will come in here. So in the array, it will be like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So here, my first value will be 10. We'll call the fill rect function. Here, x will be 50. So x will be 50, comma, height of our power will be canvas height, that is, 500 500 minus 10 490 okay so it will start on this location comma width so the width we have is 40 comma height again height we have passed is 10 okay so this will be our first location for the bar and once we draw a rectangle on this location we will modify our x so our x right now is 50 so here what we are doing is x is equals to x plus width plus 15 so 15 is the gap we are keeping in two bars so now our new x will be 50 plus width is 40 plus gap of 15 so which will become 90 plus 15 that is 105 so again for the next iteration we have 20 and like the same operation will be carried out let's see what's the output <music> So we have one more function that is reset. So basically it will just clear the canvas, nothing else. So for that we have the inbuilt method called as clear rect. Just pass 00, zero starting from 00, zero all the way to the width and the height of the canvas. So here is the clear function. Boom. Okay. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any comments, any suggestion, please leave in the comment. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.